the seven things that you need to know before going to the doctor in France. Now this leads me to talk about nudity and more specifically medical nudity. Wow. Ooh. I've been to the doctor in Argentina, Brazil, Ireland and the UK and every time I've experienced some level of culture shock. For sure you will experience it in France too. I have never really been prepared for what happened and I thought that I'd give you some French insight on how it really works when you go for a GP consultation, a general doctor, so that you know a bit more what to expect. We are obviously more comfortable with what we're used to and even more when it comes to a very intimate and confidential subject like personal health. Bonjour, I'm Giga from the blog Expat in France. I am a French girl expat and you will find here information about French admin and French culture to adjust to your French life. This is the channel to get guidance about life in France and to navigate the French red tape. So the first thing that you need to know is how to find a doctor in France. First, I would recommend asking around you for a recommendation. Ask your colleagues, your neighbor or your friends. It is always better to choose it near your home or your workplace. You can also ask for your consulate if they have a list of recommended doctors speaking English or your mother tongue. The healthcare system website, Amelie, provides a doctors and specialist directory. You will know the category of doctor and their price range. If you want to know more about how to get a better reimbursement from French healthcare, I explain in more detail in this video, up there or up there. You can also search for a doctor or a specialist on the Doctolib website by specialization and localization. The doctors can be filtered according to the language they speak, their gender, and if they are state certified or not. Those two platforms are in French. The number two, how to make the appointment. Many doctors are now listed on Doctolib, the platform that I've just mentioned. Besides helping you finding a doctor, you will be able to make the appointment online if you have a French social security number, which avoids the challenge of a phone call in French. Can be scary sometimes, right? If the doctor you've been recommended is not listed on Dr. Lib, you will need to make the phone call, mainly in French, to book your appointment. If you are not used to making a call in French, I know how challenging it can be, you may want to write a few sentences down with your symptoms and dates and also times and availability in French. Your translation app will be your best friend for that. You will be asked if this is your first visit to this doctor. Some doctors will not accept new patients when they are overloaded. So you may need to call other doctors if that happens. They will ask you for the motive of your first visit and your availability. Also, you should know that this is totally okay to ask for the doctor's fee. But I'll talk about this a bit further. And now, what about emergencies? In case of a minor emergency, I'd recommend calling SOS Médecins. They are on-call doctors that will come to your home. I have made another video to explain into more details the French emergency medical system. You will find it up there. SOS Médecins numbers are different in every French region, but you can easily find the relevant number online by typing SOS Médecins plus the city or department number where you are, which are the two first numbers of your postcode. The doctor will come to your home, give you assistance and a prescription if needed. This service is partially reimbursed by French public healthcare, but you should always pay the full price of the consultation, often in cash or checks. Yes, checks are still used a lot in France. Many times doctors do not even have a cash machine. Now, let me ask you for a favor. If you find this information helpful, please give this video a like since it will help other people to find it. Merci. Then number four, what to expect when you arrive at the doctor's office. You should know that most French GP work in a private practice and often there will be no checking desk. Most of the time the doctor's practice will be in a residential building and only a professional plate will show that this is a doctor's practice. 
You will also find medical centers, but they are a bit less frequent. They are called Maison de Santé or Paul de Santé, centers gathering different types of self-employed doctors, or Centre de Santé, which are the medical or community health center. Then when you are at the doctor's practice door, that will be just like an apartment door with a professional plate, check if there are instructions written on the door. It will usually be written something like sonner et entrer, meaning ring the bell and enter directly. You will understand why it can be important. Once you're in, you will not find a nurse or an assistant to greet you unless there are many doctors in the practice that will also share the cost of the extra staff, or if you are in a medical center or at the hospital, of course. So when you get into the doctor's practice, you will need to look for the waiting room, la salle d'attente. And if there are other people in the room, when you get in, make sure you greet them in French with a simple bonjour. This is the social norm in France and it will be awkward if you don't. Then you'll just wait for the doctor to come in to get you. Never go directly to the doctor's office. He or she might be with the patient. The doctor will come in person. Also, I know that in some countries, private doctors wear a lab coat. I have never seen that in France. No uniforms are needed when you are self-employed and French people do not consider that the uniform is needed to give trust to a self-employed doctor. Now, what about the price? As a general rule, you will always need to pay for the full cost of the medical consultation and if you are registered with French Healthcare, you will receive reimbursement of a portion of this cost. I explain how to be better reimbursed in the video up there or there. Then, if you go to a public hospital and are registered with French Healthcare, you will not need to pay upfront. Depending on the general practitioner that you have chosen, you could pay from 25 euros up to about 50 euros for a consultation. If you have chosen a doctor categorized as what the French call Sector 1, sector one you will be charged for the state agreed fee, which is currently 25 euros. The Sector 2 doctors will be a bit more expensive, but usually still under 50 euro price range. The sector type is mentioned on the Dr. Lib website and the AMELI directory that I've mentioned before. The sector type depends on the agreement that the doctor has with the assurance maladie. It has no impact on the quality of the doctor. The assurance maladie regulates the fee the doctor can charge. If you choose a doctor in the category non conventionné, this means that their fee is not regulated they can charge as much as they want. The same prices will apply if you are a tourist, if you are registered with French Healthcare, or if you have a European health insurance card. If you are traveling to France with the EHIC, I have done a dedicated video explaining what to do in France. You will find it up there. Now, if you are seeing a specialized doctor, the fee will be higher. The prices are always displayed in the waiting room as per French regulations. You can also find them on the two platforms that I've mentioned. The doctor will usually start by asking you your carte vitale. This is the card that you get when you are registered with French Healthcare. The doctor will swipe the card and the social security will know the price that you've paid, but also the doctor type and category to be able to transfer directly on your bank account the relevant reimbursement amount. You remember I've mentioned before about the on-call doctors called SOS Médecin? Well, their fees are also state agreed fees and they charge 35 euros during working hours, but the price goes up to a maximum of 85 euros for night assistance. Also, many doctors still don't have payment card readers. So if you don't have a French bank check, make sure you bring cash with you to be able to pay for the consultation. Then number six, no nurse is present during the consultation or the exams. A doctor no. consultation in France will be with the doctor alone. It is not common to have a third party in the room unless it is needed for medical reasons. 
Also, many people in France will not feel comfortable sharing private things if there is someone else in the room, even if this is a nurse or an assistant. We don't really consider it as necessary since there is a big trust in the medical practitioners. Also, French people don't think that much about lawsuits. It is way less common here than it is in the USA, for example. Of course, if needed, you can file a complaint against your practitioner with the Department Council of Medical Order, le Conseil Départemental de l'Ordre des Médecins, CDON. For that, you should send a letter by registered post with acknowledgement of receipt, enclosing a detailed history of the incriminating fact and a copy of the corresponding medical documents. Then the medical order must hold an arbitration meeting within one month of receiving the official complaint. Now this leads me to talk about nudity, and more specifically, medical nudity. French people don't sexualize nudity per default, and medical nudity is no more in France. Most of the time, no gown is given to cover yourself. The doctor often needs to see you and a gown covering most of the body could hide conditions that you're not aware of. You may feel exposed, and if medical nudity makes you feel uncomfortable, you can choose the gender of your doctor as it is a filter criterion on Dr. Lib. Also, depending on the type of consultation you're having, you are usually never entirely naked. Also, French people usually keep their family doctor when they can, so they've been seeing the same doctor since they are a child. This is my case, actually. Now, ladies, most gynecologists I've been to in France leave the room when you undress and don't request that you remove all your clothes for a pelvic exam. Some of them also ask if you want a paper gown to cover up, but not always. After all, they need to see and a paper gown will not keep you warm. I hope this video helped you to know what to expect when going to the doctor in France. If you found this video useful, you can like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more expat dedicated information. Merci et à bientôt! The doctor will swipe the price, which avoids the challenge of a phone call in French. Which avoids the challenge of a phone call in French. Now this leads me, now this leads me to talk about nudity and more specifically, medical nudity. Now this leads me to talk about nudity and more specifically, medical nudity. French people don't sexualize nudity. French people. French people don't sexualize nudity per default.